Welcome to Four Stacks. Today we are going to see a flow. Um, the flow can update a record. Uh, basically, I took an um, account uh, object. Um, you start the screen flow now. Uh, I'm going to grab an account and uh, try to update a couple of fields from account. Uh, for to find the account, uh, we have to grab that lookup field. Um, the lookup field um, basically we have to fill uh, um, four or five fields like uh, API name, field the API name, label uh, which which field they are from, and object API also uh, looking from where. Um, I basically I'm looking from the contact object. So once uh, we finish this this page, uh, we have to uh, grab that uh, get record from the account yeah the record name uh, uh, should be a variable a text variable otherwise we can't use that uh, lookup value for the other another component so that's why I'm creating um, a text variable for um, this lookup text done uh, next one Oh yeah, I have to give a name for this page. I'll just give a random uh, first name, I mean first page. That's it, connect with the start button. Next I'm going to grab get record component, give a name. Uh, I'm going to get the record from account, right? So uh, I grab that account. So the condition should be account name equal to that uh, lookup value. Uh, the lookup value should be um, the variable which I created uh, for the lookup field. So I take one record at the time and choose the fields and assign variable advance. So now I'm going to create a variable which is um, record variable. So I'm going to get that all values into this uh, record variable uh, then I can use it wherever I want to variable the AP name choose the record <clears throat> then we don't have to choose allow multiple values because we are going to take a one record at the time uh, yeah I have to grab the account again um, yeah that's it. Oh yeah, account. I had to choose the account. Yeah, account. That's it. So all values into that um, record variable. Now I am going to grab just a couple of fields uh, like account name. Yeah, our choice. We can choose any fields, but uh, I'm choosing only a couple of fields for the example. Uh, annual revenue yeah enough for, for now done connect with them and next I had to show those two fields to update um, we need to populate those fields um, for the update so grab a text for the account name Give a label name an API and I'm going to grab a currency field for annual revenue yeah uh, and I have to populate the default value of what we grab from um, the record variable we have to uh, populate here uh, then uh, then only we know what is the existing value for example if you have a name like um, orange or we need to change like orange from from orange to apple something like that so that's why we have to populate the value first
get account detail dot annual revenue yep that's it oh again <laughs> screen name just to update page yep enough done connect with that get record component uh, next we are going to update actual update uh, here only will happen so give a name for the update now specifically uh, we have to give the condition where where which account we are going to update so choose the specific conditions uh, object name is account again then we have to map with that name um, name and the lookup value where account yeah. where account name so what feel like uh, account name should be equal to the screen screen name screen component name yeah account name the next one is annual revenue there will be multiple name uh, similarly but we have to map with that screen screen component only annual revenue yep yeah. that's it so we mapped it uh, what next uh, we had yeah just a final page just just for indication what we we done that just a message like a thank you welcome whatever you can then only uh, the customer will understand we've complete the flow is they don't realize what they did the ap name should be there. yep thank you that's it oops oh and again screen <laughs> yeah that's it connect with them yeah, we can we can test it now. Save the flow first before test. The screen update page. Next is update record. The final page. That's it. The flow name we can give any yeah, just um, appropriate one. Get record and update yeah to save that record before we um, test it we just grab a, a sample record uh, what we are going to update and we can see the previous value and after the update what um, but we can see the difference also we can choose this account Dickinson, please. Now I'm going to add one one more uh, where word a test, and I will change this value uh, like a two fifty or two fifty. Yeah, we can see exactly same result after update. This this is only a sample. We can do whatever we want in bigger larger amount. Yeah, yeah, two fifty and. I'm going to refresh it now. Yeah, the test you can see here on 250. Before it was 550 only. Yeah, that's it. So uh, that, that's all about update. We just um, uh, we will we will show um, many more details about flow um, uh, in later videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.